angles of elevation and depression. Elevation means up, rising. Depression means down. Angles of elevation and depression are measured from a horizontal sight line. So here in the lighthouse on a cliff, looking straight out from the lighthouse is the horizontal sight line. An angle of elevation is measured from that line looking up at an object. So if you looked straight across and then change to looking up at an object, the angle between those two sight lines is an angle of elevation. An angle of depression is measured from the horizontal sight line looking down at an object. So an angle of depression is marked here. These are actually quite useful in trigonometry for working out various distances. And the two really important things about angles of elevation and depression are these. Let's make a simpler diagram. Cliff, ocean, and another ship. If you're on top of the cliff looking out on the horizontal and you look down at the ship, here is that angle of depression. If you're on the ship looking across on the horizontal and you look up at the cliff, there is your angle of elevation. Horizontal lines must both be parallel and so the line of sight between the top of the cliff and the ship is a transverse line and these angles are alternate angles so angles of elevation and depression in the same situation are alternate angles so they're equal. So the person in the ship is looking up at the clifftop at the same angle as the person on the clifftop is looking down at the ship. The other thing that's really really important Oh, sorry about that. My page went everywhere. Let's do that. The other thing that's really important with angles of elevation and depression, you must remember they are from the horizontal sight line. Those angles must touch the horizontal. So many people see, oh look, we have a building that's 80 meters and we look down at a person at an angle of depression of 60 degrees and they keep putting that angle here. That is wrong. The angle of depression must be between the sight line and the horizontal. So I've marked that with theta to mark the angle. You must have your angle of depression or elevation.
touching the horizontal. 